What, in your opinion, is the one thing that traditional car makers need to do to beat back competition from the likes of Xiaomi or Huawei or even Apple? Zika is exactly created for this. It was spun off from Geely in order to become a brand new company, no matter its brand, products, teams, organization, or its culture, which is no different from any other tech and internet companies. How, how much of a threat then do you see from the likes of Xiaomi and Huawei and Apple, given that this is your response? It's hard to tell as of now. I think it will be a long time from now. They want to enter the market till they have the final product and win customer satisfaction. Sika should focus on how to speed up our development in the meantime. How much time do you spend thinking about Tesla? I do spend some time, but not only Tesla. I'm also studying other tech and internet companies, as well as some successful fast retailing firms. There's no boundaries for the EV industry in future, so it's a big challenge for us. We need to learn things from all aspects. When are we going to start to see mass production? And what is your target for the shipment of units over the next, say, 12 to 24 months? We'll start delivering cars this September. I estimate we can deliver 7,000 to 8,000 units in the fourth quarter. Next year, it will be higher. We are aiming for more than 50,000 units. What are your plans for shipping this brand and these cars overseas? What are your priority international markets and when can we expect them to be sold overseas? Sika is a global brand. It will face the global market in future. We will focus on the Chinese market this year, and we expect to enter the European market by the end of 2022 or in 2023. And the US market as well, is that on the agenda at some point in the next couple of years? North America is in our plan for the next step. That will happen after 2022. We'll announce our plans for North America in future. Is the, is the plan to list the company and go for an IPO? And if so, what is the time frame for that? We are looking at diversifying the funding for Seeker. We don't rule out the possibility of an IPO in future. There's a big focus right now on the global semiconductor and chip shortage. It's impacting, of course, automakers and many other sectors of the economy. Has it impacted Geely like it has some of your competitors in terms of shortening production? Actually, Geely has been impacted since the end of last year, but the impact isn't too big, around 10% of our sales. It's more severe now, and it's hard to tell the future impacts for now. How are you at Geely addressing that supply constraint when it comes to chips? It's hard to avoid these situations. We can only rely on our long-term relationship with suppliers and the orders we placed ahead of time so they can provide us some support and help, but the impact will be there. OK, if I can, let me just push you on Volvo, because there are reports that Volvo is considering an IPO now. Can you at least confirm that that is under consideration and give us a sense of the timeline for that? We're not ruling out the plan for an IPO. It's normal. But in terms of the actual progress, we need to wait for a formal announcement, as we're not at the stage for publication.